Hello, and welcome to the Capital Contrarian. Today we are going to go the boring route and talk about fixed income. Fixed income broadly refers to those types of investment securities that pay investors a fixed interest or coupon payment until their maturity date. These types of investments are known for their stable cash flow and low volatility. You may have heard of corporate and government bonds, and these are the most commonly known types of fixed income securities. Governments and companies will typically issue debt securities to raise money to fund their day-to-day -day operations and finance their larger projects. These bonds will have a listed rate that you can use to calculate the return you will receive on the invested principal. This rate remains the same throughout the life of the bond, which can range from just a few months to 30 plus years. Along with the maturity varying from bond to bond, you will also notice how the frequency of payments may differ as well. You will commonly see them having annual, semi-annual, quarterly, and monthly payment structures. At the maturity date of the bond, investors are then repaid the principal amount that they had initially invested. In addition to purchasing fixed income securities directly, there are several fixed income exchange traded funds, or ETFs for short, and mutual funds that are available to investors. These funds offer diversification and professional management, making them a popular choice for many investors. Most will advise to use these as means of owning the bonds for simplicity and diversification that it offers. It also saves the investor the time of researching what bonds to individually buy or manage once they acquire. Let's go over a quick example of how a bond works. The US government might issue a 10% bond, and please let me know if they do, with a $1,000 face or par value that matures in five years. If I were to buy the bond for $1,000, then that means over the course of the five years, the government will pay interest payments based on the rate of 10% per year, which will lead to me receiving $100 per year for five years. At the end of the five years, I will also be paid back the $1,000 that I had initially invested. Investors may also find fixed income investments that pay the coupon payments monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, like I stated before. I hope you enjoyed the introductory episode of Fixed Income Series on the Capital Contrarian. Let us know what your thoughts are on how fixed income plays a role in your portfolio, and please check out the upcoming videos to learn more about this investment option. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.